But look, I, can I um, uh, just say that this result for Labor is pretty crappy. Um, there's no way to sugarcoat this. It's not a good result. Now, I still believe Labor will get up, uh, although even that is no longer a certainty. And, uh, I mean, I think the odds favour it, but it's not a certainty. And that, uh, that is actually, in itself, I think, the best description of it. If Labor couldn't win a by-election against the government in a seat like this that it usually holds, then things aren't terrific. That means that Morrison can come out of tonight saying, I'm still doing pretty well. And that's not something Labor can cheer. Richo, do you accept the argument, though, that Richard's made, and we heard it from others earlier as well, that given the pandemic, that the Prime Minister's been such a dominant figure in the government, that it's actually... Uh, you're not comparing apples with apples in terms of this opposition leader and this by-election with, you know, other precedents. Do you accept that? Well, no Prime Minister's had a dream run like this. I mean, when, you, when you've got a pandemic... Uh, and um, it needs to be dealt with. The only political figure federally who's going to get any coverage is the Prime Minister. The opposition leader may as well uh, take a, a cruise ship. Mind, you've got to be careful when you do that these days and, and go around the world for six <laughs> weeks because you, you don't do very well. And so it's, it's just been a terrific run for Scott Morrison. But as usual, he's played his cards well. But, Richard, earlier you said that if, if, they, if Labor lost this, it would be a, a, a bad situation for Anthony Albanese. Now, you've just called it a crappy result. What does that mean, yeah, do you think, for Anthony, for Anthony Albanese? And... It's, it's not going to be comfortable Do you think he'll be leading he's, Labor he's... at the next election? Yes. Do you think he'll be leading Labor? I do. You do? So you just think it'll, be, it, it'll just be uncomfortable? I think that uh, the whole caucus will be uncomfortable. Um, they'll be asking questions and, and there'll be whispers in the corridors, but the whispers won't go to anything because there's no one willing to run against him. He's a very popular guy personally and he'll survive this. But what he needs to do is not think that surviving it is enough. He needs to learn from it and do something about it. He's got to analyse why could the result be this poor? You can't just accept a bad result. You need to do something about it. Yeah, and so well, I'll be judging him on what changes as a result of it, not just the fact that the caucus doesn't want to upset him. It's a high threshold to stop an opposition leader from at least facing one election. Um, we saw Brendan Nelson suffer that fate from the Labor side, Simon Crean, Richo. So effectively you're saying that Albanese is not... He's not a cream. He's not going to be dumped without facing the voters once at a federal election. No, I don't believe so. I'd, I'd be very surprised if that happened. 